everyone, it's Stevio, and we are back in Wisconsin. Back helping out my buddy. Late last night, way burning the midnight oil, we finished this field of corn. Uh, they are going to get all these uh, harvesters and everything, and trucks, all this logistical nightmare uh, moved to the next field. Uh, but today, they want me to play with the big horsepower tractors, do a little ripping, and some corn stop, uh, stubble mulching. Uh, I guess that won't be the big horsepower mowing the corn stock stubble. Oh yeah, look at all this equipment. There's so much money right here in this field. It's just crazy the amount of money the farmers go through one year just to make a dollar. I mean, I would like to know, I mean, how many dollars do they spend to make one? Because that has got to be a crazy number. Man, it was fun. And these uh, Case IH, let me tell you, they light up the night sky. The neighbors 10 miles away probably knew we were farming in this field. It was crazy. But we did get one of the tractors over here. We're going to use that little, uh, that tw what is that, a 285 uh, MX Magnum. We're going to use that to uh, mulch some of this corn. So I need to get back and uh, pick up a trailer, get the other mulcher on here, because I don't, it's kind of chilly out there this morning. And figure out which tractor. I'm, I'm hoping to use a big bud. That's my dream. I want to drive that at least once before I go back. And I kind of like that International, but I think that's on one of the mulchers or the mowers, the stock master, whatever it is called. But to be honest, I think we might be a little bit overloaded with red at that field. I mean, there is a lot of red. They do like the red uh, at this farm. Let's see. Hmm, I don't. Can we take this path? Let's see. We don't need the Stalford, I don't think. We'll leave that Steiger hooked up. I think he said he wants to rip it, so. Hmm. Uh oh. Looks like the Big Bud. It still might need repaired. Oh man. Oh. I was really hoping to be able to drive this thing, but it looks like it still might be broke down. Man. I wonder if I could still get into that cab. Yep. Got a little lean. This is the new way to how to power hop right here. Yep. Yep. Just step back and lean into it. Lean. Oh. Oh. That would be a dream come true. Be like the Welker brothers out there. And my big 450 Big Bud. But we are going to get to uh, drive this very unique international hydro here on this uh, Stockmaster. We need to get a uh, gooseneck hooked up to one of the trucks because I don't want to drive in this cold weather with that open station. I guess we will have to uh, use the 8960 here. I mean, it's not that big of a letdown to do some ripping, but that thing will work just right. Almost, this thing is almost as big as the Big Bud, which I thought nothing really compared to that size. Obviously, that has nothing on the 747, though. Okay, I guess we can use this HD Chevy. Hmm, I think I want to drive this old girl over here. Call me a little, uh, I, this is the one I want to drive. Yeah. I've been, uh, kind of, this is a beautiful looking work truck they have here. I probably could just pull it with my Dirty Max, but uh, when uh, I'm free labor, why not just drive everything you possibly can? Uh, where's that gooseneck? Oh, there it is. 
back up to this. Uh, almost. There we go. Alright, we are hooked up. Now we just have to uh, hopefully get that. Uh, it looks like there's a little lip right here in the ground, so I think I'm gonna use that to my advantage so I don't have to pull out the ramps, I guess. Old hydrostatic. Love these. We used to have one of these on our farm. Oh, oh. Get up there? Oh yeah, that's what you got a front wheel sis for. Alright, well that lift up. Careful does it. Come on. Oh man, this thing has so much power. Oops. Looks like I just went just too far. Alright, here we go. Drive this to the field. How about my buddy? Brad should be already going. I think he kind of got a late start. It was pretty late last night, but I was so excited. You can't uh, keep me in bed when all this stuff going on. All right, let's see, pull this. Stay on there, buddy. Definitely don't want to lose this thing. I won't be invited back to the farm if I lose it. Everything's still running good back there. Huh, no one got any farther here. Hmm. Huh. Gotta drink the coffee and get out here in the field. Alright. Here we go. Uh oh. Does this poor hydrostatic not have enough horsepower? Man, do you hear it? It is screaming. Oh no, this ain't going to be very productive running like this. Hmm. Man, this uh, international sure is screaming. You can hear it. Alright, well, that's a bummer. Guess this thing, it is a pretty wide bat wing. Guess I uh, really can't handle this thing. Oh man, I was really hoping to, even though it's pretty cold out here, be able to run the old hydrostatic. Bummer. Bummer. That's a bummer. I guess just so we are productive, we will take the magnum out. This thing doesn't have enough horsepower. I don't know what to tell you. It's just not gonna happen. Oop, oop. Am I gonna miss that trailer? Am I gonna miss it? Yeah, there we go. Oh. Man, look at this thing. Yeah, you can make some good time in the Magnum here. Oh yeah. Here we go. We are mowing away. So they do this just to be able to easily be able to rip it, I guess, is a short story, and to kind of break up this uh, cover and uh, chop it up so it definitely ends up uh, decomposing uh, over the winter, in the winter months. You could definitely make do a lot of acres with this thing. Doesn't take long for this mulcher. Man, that must be a good feeling to be able to uh, sleep in whenever you want to. Hmm. That's gotta be. Looks like we we are leaving a few stubble right there, but they won't be a big enough of a deal, I don't think. To worry about it. We are mulching majority of it.
said uh, his mom should be bringing the 8970 here. No, nope. uh, that looks like her right there. Look at that big Bertha. Oh yeah, definitely have to drive that thing. Definitely want to drive that. I don't know if I'm going to trade off with her or exactly how it's going to go, but I just got to make sure I get to drive that thing. Oh, wow. This thing is giant. Listen to that diesel roar. Yep. Here we go. Beautiful tractor here. Looks like we got a quad shifter here. Yep. Look at that. We got the RPMs way down. We don't even need them all for this thing. Uh, just going around the outskirts of this field here. Plowing. We even got guidance control on this old tractor. Not for sure. I think these were made in the 80s, if I remember, sometime then. shanks that thing has on the back of it but it pulls it with ease we need a bigger ripper brad we need a bigger ripper oh yeah i guess sometimes when you get into that hard plane uh, it does kind of rev that engine up pretty loud no one has uh, gotten their coffee Oh, the harvest crew is still in the field. I guess they have a late start and run late into the night. That's their normal routine. Got the trusty GPS running here. Looks like this is the last pass on this side. Wait a second. Is that an old tractor in the tree row right there? Pretty sure that is. Oh, 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 are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, no. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Uh-oh. Oh, man. This is not the ditch you want to get into. But, oh, oh, we can't back out of it. Oh, my goodness. Definitely don't need to rip that ditch. Uh, how do I tell Brad? Okay, what excuse can we come up with? Uh, butterfly? A squirrel? We saw a squirrel, yeah. No, there was a tractor over here. This, I mean, don't put an old tractor by a tree you don't want me to drive into the ditch. Uh, that's probably not a good enough excuse. Uh, the steering broke on the tractor. Uh, the tractor was possessed. It just went into the ditch. I, I, I couldn't stop it. Yeah, let's stick with that one. I really don't know why, but uh, Brad, or maybe his dad, Larry, they didn't believe me that the tractor was possessed. Uh, we, uh, I'm hoping that they'll have it out by now. Uh, it doesn't look too promising. I, I tried to, uh, lie to Brad, but I just couldn't do it. So, I just like, hey buddy, I was distracted. 
I drove in the ditch. I'm hoping that it'll be okay. I think, yeah, here we go. Uh, he, uh, he kind of forgave me. I think he wants me to uh, leave as soon as possible, though. But I, I need to help him get this tractor out of the ditch. We got the payloader over here. We're gonna try to use this crane to maybe pull off the implement. And I'm hoping it will stay right there. Move this crane out there. Okay, we gotta unhook this. This is not gonna be easy because we got all the weight on it. Gotta hook this up. All right, we got the implement off. That was the easy part. Now it comes to the heavy part here. Um, maybe the payloader has it in it. I'm hoping the payloader has it in it. Okay, how do you drive this thing? But thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time. Probably not over here with my buddy Brad. Let's just say it. Kind of screwed up today. But thank you all. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Later, y'all. A little bit farther. All right. A little bit far. Oh, 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 oh. This isn't good. I'll never be invited back here.